What we've got here today is a C18 industrial engine off of a water pump. Something a little bit different we don't see too often. This is a BDN serial number prefix. So as you can see, the dead giveaway, this is an emissions engine. It's got the crankcase, breather filters. It's got this intake elbow with all this extra wiring and this bonnet right here that's your exhaust gas bonnet feeding in starter you can see it's got a big full-length oil pan at the bottom got this plastic guard up here over the belts got a dual air filter set up Over here, as you can see, it's got a compound turbocharger set up. So the air comes in through the air cleaners right there, comes down, gets compressed by this first turbocharger, pushed over here, goes in the second one right there, and then it'll come out of this and it will go up to be cooled in either an air to air or an air to water after cooler. So this wagon that this sets on, here's your pump. Here's your water pump part right here that it drives through this big rubber connector right there. And your coolers are up there. So they're either up there or with this shroud here, I'm thinking there's a big air-to-air -air cooler, but this is it right over here. Yep, there it is. Look at the size of that. So that'll just tell how hard this engine's working. Look at how big the cooler has to be for this thing. So that's the car it sets on. There's a there's that unique flywheel setup to go in that coupler. A little bit different from what you're used to seeing. Here's that piping that goes around the back to your intake elbow. There sets your exhaust cooler right there. And here's your Here's your whole turbo setup. The engineers actually, you know, I don't like this setup. I don't like emissions on engines, but they did a pretty good job designing all this stuff to fit together like a puzzle. Look at this, look how close some of this stuff is. And that's one of the unique features about this C18 industrial engine is this thing has a, it's one of its bragging points is it has a pretty small footprint compared to a, other brands that are in a V configuration, like a V12 or a V10, other engine brands. So you can fit this in applications such as marine, uh, concrete mulchers, wood mulchers that grind trees, wood chippers, stuff like that. You don't have to have as much room in the chassis of the vehicle to mount this thing because it's it's a really compact, powerful engine. Look at the oil cooler on this, how long this oil cooler is. Quite a bit longer than what we're used to seeing in the truck applications. There's, your, there's where the bonnet goes into the block right there. But your thermostat housing, it's hidden back here. It's the same setup. Just a lot more complexity on this. might do another video on this next week when it gets mounted in its buggy right there but this is just a mobile water pump you can pull up and set next to a lake and put a suction hose in and start it up and go to work
Thanks everybody for watching. Catch you guys and girls next week.